So, a while ago, Grado did a really weird thing. They noticed that everyone hated their cables, everyone was always complaining about them, they were always falling apart, and they went back to their factory, and they took it upon themselves to make the cable even worse. And this is what we've got here. All of the X-series have just a worse cable. They took what they already had, which was like this horrible PVC, ancient, thick cable, and then they put this plastic nylon sleeving over the top. Now what this does is it increases the microphonics, because you can hear every single braid of this cable rubbing over your shirt, over the desk, over everything. So these ones really are worth replacing, and that's what we're doing here. So you can see I've popped the drivers out. It's actually quite nice and easy to do on these ones because the glue's a bit weak and it's also in this aluminium housing so you can really sort of lever on it without fear of actually breaking it. On lots of the thin wood ones you really have to be careful because otherwise you'll crack the wood. And so I snip the stock cable and pull it out of its housing. You can see it's got a little zip tie in there to hold it in. I would just chop that bit off. Uh, underneath these ones were secured with what looked like black blue tech. Usually it's um, like a tarry substance, but this time, yeah, definitely blue tack of some kind. Uh, so we just pop the inner cables out of the sheath so that we've got access to them, and then that makes them a lot easier to solder to. Yeah, I'm just pushing that black blue tack on. Um, there we go, take the sleeve off, and then underneath they've got a bit more shielding, uh, and all of this will be replicated with R1. Um, there we go, there's the glue. I'm just snipping it off, off the side. And it's finally time. This is the scary bit. You get to drill a big hole in the side of your graders. Um, so I've sped it up here. This process does take a little while. Uh, and you get yourself covered in wood and metal shavings, which is lovely. Uh, but yeah, just making sure that the little our little 3.5mm socket fits in there. Because uh, that's what we try to use. We used to use 2.5mm, but they're just a bit small and dainty. And when we can, we'll, uh, we'll do a 35 just because then it's compatible with a lot more cables. So once those both fit, just hoover up the uh, hoover up the dust. This is horrible stuff. It's all little metal shavings that get everywhere, and uh, you definitely don't want them anywhere near the drivers because obviously the drivers are magnets. They'll pick up metal shavings. I mean, less so in this case because it's aluminium and it's not magnetic. But with other metal headphones, it's worth looking out for. So make sure that they go all the way in, and they do. So I'm just about ready to start soldering the wires up. These are three pole sockets, so what I'm doing is I'm just connecting the ring and the sleeve together and then just leaving the tip and those other two as a single, as a pair of contacts. Um, that just simplifies things a bit and makes them compatible with even more cables. So I just put a tiny little dab of super glue on there, um, just a little bit before I pop them in and then that'll just make them a little bit more secure in there and then we'll put some more hot glue on the inside just to really make sure that those things never come out. Now that the cups are all ready, it's time to move on to the drivers. So I'm just going to tin all six of these wires per driver. Um, it's a bit of a faff, but that's how Grado does it, so that's how we, we do it too. I'm um, not quite sure why they use so many wires. Lots of little wires instead of one big good wire, but there you go. But yeah, just soldering them all together and conglomerating them into one single strand, just so that we can solder it onto the driver. Um, and I'm just going to chuck a little bit of hot glue in there and that's just the final step to make sure that those things will never come out then we're ready to solder the drivers on um, I mean this is nearly done, it's quite a simple process really um, I'd recommend giving it a go yourself if you have the plastic or the metal ones the wood ones can be a real faff and you kind of are in danger of damaging them uh, but the plastic ones they come out easily you almost don't need to heat them up you can just pop the drivers straight out they're quite good um, so now I've got these all soldered in I'm just checking in the back to make sure that the wires are laying nicely because otherwise you don't really want them pushing up against the grill it just looks a bit ugly so we just glue all the way around on the surface um, we don't glue from the back because if these ever need to be taken apart again this just makes it a lot easier um, and it's also hidden behind the pad so you never even really see it. Uh, what you just saw me do there was ironing the glue down with the side of the hot glue gun and that just makes it look a bit nicer even though you won't see it. So this is a thing that we like to do on the graders with the grills. Uh, just dipping a little sponge into some black modeling paint because uh, these grills they're black painted and they often get scuffed and beaten up a little bit and you can just see the uh, the metal underneath and it's nice to dab this on just to make it look as good as new. Um, 
So all the electricals are done, all the cups are looking good, so now it's time to secure them back in to the headband. So I put these little grub screws back in and yeah we tighten them with this little bit of hose that we have just because they're also painted and it, if you use any other tool they're completely round this you can't use like a they're not a hex head or anything or a screw so you just have to use friction and if you were to use a big pair of pliers then you'd scratch the paint on them but yeah that's that's basically our work done at this point they're all back together uh, they've got their little socket in so they're ready to go back to the customer just putting some pads on these so you can see what they look like. They're all done. Um, and soon I'll pop on one of our lovely soft flexible cables. Now this thing will be a real upgrade. You can move your head, uh, it, it flexes, it moves, it's soft, it's not microphonic at all. You can just use it without fear of, uh, of it falling apart. Now if you want to send yours in, please do. We'd love to work on them. Uh, we'll put the link in the description for where we offer the service. Tell us what you want, we'll customise them however you like. We work on any of the grados, even the wood ones, just send them in. That's all, thanks for watching, uh, remember to like and subscribe. Cheers!